what I have here is a JIRA project. It's a simple JIRA project, and I'm going to demonstrate a workflow that um, essentially helps you get your tickets ready for implementation. And so this is a pretty common problem where, you know, people just toss in a, a simple uh, a simple message in the title and there's no description, there's no acceptance criteria, no nothing. And then by the time it gets to need to be implemented, it's very confusing. You have to go follow up with people and stuff like that. And so this is an automation. It's an intelligent automation that uh, gets your ticket ready for to do by making sure that you have acceptance criteria and a purpose for the ticket and things like that. I'm not going to go through the full flow, but I'm just going to show you a couple of things so that you can see how it works. Um, so I'll, I'll create a, a new ticket here and I'll say this is a workflow. And the workflow is to take a transcript and convert it into an action steps document. Okay, so I'll create that. And so this is a work, this is a, a ticket that I've created in the backlog. We have a next stage that is for refinement. And then the final stage in this demo is for to do. We want the ticket to be ready. You'll see a little label popped up here that said Bitbot processing. Bitbot is our internal um, automation system um, for Vitovi. And so if I come here and just open up this actual ticket, at some point very soon, we're gonna get, uh, let's see, I think Bitbot's still processing here. So Bitbot's processing, we'll get a response here. So what Bitbot actually does is if you just create a ticket it's and you've got some description in there, it's gonna give you something helpful in here. You should probably assign a team member, define acceptance criteria. Um, I can even say in here, you know, I can, I can chat with the automation. So in the to-do phase, it is basically a helper. It's, it's hooked up to an agent that can go research the web. It can go research your internal documents and pull things back. And I might say something like, please suggest a workflow in our automation tool in 8 in that would accomplish this workflow. Uh, I got to fix this here because audio. All right. So I'm going to kick this off again and then uh, as, as you'll probably expect, this will, you'll get a response in here that says like here, maybe think about doing the workflow in this, in these stages or whatever. And so this is, this is a way to just iterate and brainstorm. And then once it's ready um, in this phase, once you've got all the details that you want in the, um, in the comments here, then you can essentially move it to refinement. I'll just show you here. There's a suggestion. Here's like some suggested workflows. Um, yeah, new, new transcript file added. So these are some nodes It's suggesting some stuff here. And once it's good, say, okay, that's good. I've got my details here. I can move it into refinement. And what refinement is gonna do is gonna check the description, make sure that it's got the acceptance criteria and, and, the, um, and the purpose for the ticket in there, in, in the actual description, which right now it does not. So this is a very natural way to, um, based in the way that it's checking these things is just natural language. We, we say check for acceptance criteria and check for description. I'll show you that in a minute, but this is a really natural way to get your tickets ready it's, you know, it's not intrusive. You, you have the, the comments right here. You have a lot of power that can pull back into the comments here. Okay. Now let's see just a, a quick example of what it, what it looks like. Um, so this is what the actual workflow looks like. This is a tool called N8N. Um, I love this tool. And what you see in this, in this list here is a set of executions. So whenever something happens in JIRA, uh, we have a webhook set up that, that sends uh, the information over to N8N, which is our intelligent automation system that you can do a lot with. Um, all right, and I'll just show here this, you'll see it attaches a processing label. It reduces the data payload because Jira sends a whole bunch of stuff and we don't necessarily need it all. And then I have a sub workflow here that sends it into the, back, the backlog sub workflow. And I'm not gonna go any more in depth other than to show, um, what an actual agent looks like. So I would just, and this will be relevant in a minute, this, this is an intelligent automation, right? So this is, well, this is more of a traditional automation, um, but this is, this is not an agent right here. This is not an agent. This sub workflow, however, does have an agent. So whenever it's in the to-do phase, it's gonna come to this agent and it's gonna be a very helpful agent that, you know, you are Bitbot, a proactive JIRA project management assistant. So this is the prompt for this, this actual agent that has these tools set up here. So it, it can search Google, it can actually visit pages and, and like, you know, get the contents from pages. It can go get ticket details, it can do a confluence search and confluence read pages. 
Um, so it can go back, you know, it can, it has access to all of those tools. And this is more of an actual agent that you give it a description, you give it a goal, you give it tools and it works towards those goals, uh, yeah, towards that goal. Uh, 